good morning today let us study about slater determinant what is slater determinant how it is derived for helium atom lithium atom and for multi electron atom it was proposed by jc slater in 1930 he was awarded nobel prize for this the it the wave function of multi electron atom the wave function of multi electron atom is represented in the determinant form called the slater determinant it was derived by for example this is the wave function of the helium atom this is the wave function of the helium atom he represented the wave function in the form of determinant called the slater determinant that's all now let us see how he derived the slater determinant how he derived the slater determinant for helium atom and it can be for multi electron atom okay it is very simple very very easy if you follow me the total wave function see the total wave function according to slater the total wave function is the product of spatial part of wave function and spin wave function for example when an electron is moving in an atom it will have orbital motion as well as spin motion orbital motion is nothing but spatial motion there is spin motion spin due to spin angular momentum spin motion okay the total according to slater the total wave function is anti symmetric the total wave function is anti symmetric with respect to interchange of electrons see you have a, you have two boys two girls okay you you cannot interchange boy and girl because it is not allowed similarly the interchange of electron will change the sign if boys two two boys two boys then you can interchange then they won't mind whereas girls won't sit near the boys so this is same as that the total wave function is anti symmetric with respect to interchange of electron okay so this is the consequence of pauli exclusion principle this is the quantum mechanical definition of pauli exclusion principle give the quantum mechanical definition of pauli exclusion principle that is the total wave function of multi electron atom is anti symmetric with respect to interchange of electron let us derive for helium atom it is the simplest atom with the two electrons one has two electronic configuration therefore there are two electrons i 1 2 now i am interchanging the electron with the due to the interchange of electron the total wave function changes its sign due to the interchange of electron the total therefore the total wave function is anti symmetric according to slater now let us write the spatial wave function the spatial wave function for example there are two electrons one has one in the same one has orbital another electron in the same one has orbital another electron now i am interchanging this okay in this i am interchanging now you get there is no change in due to the due to the interchange of electron there is no change in sign see here the total wave function changes its sign therefore it is anti symmetric the spatial wave function does not changes its sign due to the interchange of electron therefore the the spatial wave function is is always symmetric is always symmetric let us now write the spin wave function let us now write the spin wave function the spin wave function can be represented in four different ways for example two electrons with the same spin with the same upward spin okay the other possibility is the two electrons with the downward spin with the same spin so it is symmetric it is symmetric there is another possibility that is one electron up and another electron down and the second electron is uh, um, down or up okay so there are and this is plus and another combination you have is this therefore there are four combinations out of the four combinations three are symmetric one is only anti symmetric one is only anti symmetric okay here this will be 
and B, one will be and B will be three. Okay. Therefore, according to Slater, according to Slater, the total wave function is anti-symmetric with respect to interchange of electrons. Therefore, the only combination is allowed is only combination allowed is this combination. Okay, anti-symmetric three. Therefore, psi total, psi total is one plus one, one plus two spatial wave function and this wave function. Therefore. 1 plus 1, 1 plus 2, 1 by square root of 2, alpha 1, beta 2, minus alpha 2, beta 1. Interchange. This way, this 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 is interchange. Okay. Therefore, on multiplying, on multiplying in, in, into this, into this, you will get this equation. Okay, let us multiply this. There it is. Okay. This equation, this wave function equation can be represented in the form of determinant. For example, if you multiply this and if you multiply minus, then you will get this. Okay. There is another combination. You can also write beta 1, this alpha 2, you can bring it here. Beta 1, you can bring it here. Okay. There is also allowed. This is the determinant form of wave function. This is the determinant form of wave function. Now, see the, there are two electrons, therefore psi 1, 2, there are two electrons, 1 by 2 factorial, that is 1 into 2, 2 only. For n electrons, for example, 1, 2, n electrons, n factorial, for 3 electron system, 3 factorial. Okay. Now, this column, the first one represents column, okay, this is column, this is column. And this is row. Vertical, verticals are called columns. Horizontals are called rows. Okay, horizontals are called rows. This represents column. Okay, this is column. One plus one, one plus one. This is row. Row means this is uh, first row. Therefore, this is second row. Two. Similarly, here this is um, second column and first row. Therefore, we have this is two two. Now interchanging, you can interchange this. On inter, you can interchange this. There will be no sign. But if you interchange this row into this row, first row into second row, second row into first row, or you can interchange first column to second column, second column to first column, then psi two one is obtained. The wave function psi two one is obtained by interchanging. Either two columns or two rows. Okay. Therefore, the mathematically, if you interchange and you see this will be anti-symmetric due to the interchange of interchange of columns or rows, psi 1 2 is equal to minus psi 2 1 mathematically. You can prove you can interchange and you multiply and you can see this will be negative. Okay. Therefore, in quantum mechanics, Slater determinant is a mathematical expression that describes the Slater determinant is an expression that determines the describes the wave function of multi-electron system or multi-electron atom or molecule. Let us consider for multi-electron atom. Okay, you have psi 1 comma 2 here x1, x2, therefore xn. Okay, there are n electron present in the atom. Therefore, 1 by n factorial, where here there are two, uh, one plus alpha, beta. Here, similarly, chi n, chi n is the spatial part of the wave function, x n, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, etc., spin wave function. Therefore, this is first part is the spatial part, okay, here this is spatial, this is spin part, therefore, chi 1, x 1, chi 1, and this is row, the sorry, this is column, this will be constant, you see, this will be constant, therefore this will be constant. And this represents the row, therefore this changes. This is first row, x2, second row, and this is third row, uh, nth row. Okay, therefore here diagonal elements will have same one, so chi1, one, x1, one, chi3, x2, chi n, x1. This is how the slated determinant for Multi-electron atom is written. Okay. 
so this is uh, let us see tomorrow for uh, lithium atom how the plated determinant is written similarly for carbon atom how it is derived thank you for watching